Okay, first step to making um, a new pheasant run, which this one is going to be eight feet, 8 feet out from that post right there, so 18 feet. And then it's going to go 24 feet out here. So about right here somewhere. And then 24 feet back that way. So then it's back in this corner right here. And then it's going to go 8 feet that way. So... It's going to be a big L, basically. And the reason why I'm doing that is because two walls are already made. And it costs about 200 or... Like, for this first one right here that I used all four walls, it costs like 200 or $300. But the reason why is I did, like, three different types of mesh. I did chicken wire on the bottom, and then poultry netting and or no I did some kind of it's like a bird netting really small and black it's not gonna focus on me but yeah and then I used this two by four all the way around and then two feet of chicken wire on the bottom and then um, an old trampoline I got to go around the sides and cover some of the top so it's kind of shades, and um, I'm using this one for the, my only full-grown pheasants right now, but uh, I'm building this bigger one for the full-grown pheasants, and then the baby pheasants that are old enough to go outside will move out here, and I can always add a heat lamp, like I have lights in here, I just have extension cord running from my shop, but then it comes down here, and I could hook up a heat lamp too, or anything I really need. But the first step is to clear like what what's in the way. So we had to clear this big pine tree. And we cut it off and it fell pretty close. But now that was clear. We had a big bush right here that was about 10 feet tall that had all these different branches coming off of it. And then we had a big, um, what is it called? I can't remember, but it has these pokey-ish leaves on them. It, that thing was about, like, almost 20 feet. 20 feet tall or something. And it was, it was big. But, um, there it is now. It's, it's kind of dry. I just dragged it over there. Into our pile kind of area. But, once you get all the big stuff cleared, then you want to just kind of clear up the ground so that's what I'm doing right now see the difference from right there and right there it's just a lot clearer and then you want to kind of clear up all the little branches sticking up off the ground which I'm gonna do that next with that hoe right now I just got a metal rake and I'm kind of clearing and then next will be the hoe and if there's anything too big for the hoe you just I have a machete and I can cut off that real fast but it's bad for the machete if you're cutting it into the ground because there could be a rock or something down there and you don't want it to hit it. But Yeah, so that's the first step. And I'm going to kind of clear up the area and then I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, um, now I'm getting a little closer and it's time for a break for me because I've just been working for like... I don't know, 45 minutes, I don't know, it's not that long or anything, but like, I don't know, after raking and using the machete and using the hoe and everything for a little bit, you get kind of out of breath. But now I'm getting these piles on the sides right here to go around a rectangle, and that could be a bad thing or it could be a good thing, which I think I'm going to use it as a good thing, because once I get this, once I get this thing built, like, you know, the walls built and the mesh on, everything built, basically, I can tuck this stuff back up against the chicken wire, and it will kind of act like a, like this black netting is, where they can't see through that well, and the predators can't see them, and it'll just help them out a little bit, and I'm and build a better box for them too. Nice, tall, so they want to go inside and warm. Maybe put a light bulb in there or something. 
But, um, as you can tell, um, I got a big rock out of here. And I'm starting to clear up the stuff. Especially up here. I started working down here not that long ago. But up here. Up here is basically ready. There's branches here and there that I can get the machete and cut. And then pick them up or rake them out of the way. But, um, this is basically good. And this grass is fine. Um... I, I like leaving the grass in here for that cage and that gra cage. I didn't leave any grass in there. And I figured out once they got in there that they really love the green. You know, everything. If I get a clump and I throw it in there, they'll, you know, come up and eat it. You know, they, they like it. So, um, I'm going to leave all this so they'll have an 8 by 24 basically with the grass in it once it's all built except for like minus like what it, I did right here and minus like a foot around the where the wood would be on the rim on the outside because I gotta dig a trench for the wire and dig post holes for my 2x4s and 4x4s but um because the one I'm building it's gonna be the cheapest you know I, I don't have that much money and I need it cheap so it's going to do its job and it's going to be cheap. And it's fine, you know, it will work. But so we got this tree cut down. We I I can't get a chainsaw for a, a little bit and then we got to get or well, we have a chainsaw. We just need new blades for it. And it's Thursday and tomorrow we're going camping and over the weekend. So I got to get that done. So this will probably be part 1 then. And then I'll finish this one. I can get a friend over and get it done. But, um, that is, it's halfway done, basically, I would say. And I don't know if I'm going to clear those up. I might not. I'm going to leave that stump there for them to jump around on. Leave that little stump right there. And then I have to get all these branches that are right here leaned up against it. And, or get them all out and get all those out and then once I get that out which I don't I'm not gonna do that today because I don't want any predators to get in while I'm gone but um so now we just level it out and me I'm on a slope here if you can you can't really tell from the camera but um they're all leaning this way so I have to make the ground perfectly level across so when I put my 2x4s and my 4x4s in the concrete set um, they stand up just how that is standing up and just how that is standing up and that's standing up you know so it's gonna be hard but I'll be able to get it done and which I'll show you there'll be more videos about how I'm gonna do that but um that's basically, I'm almost done with this area right here. And then, got to flatten it out and clear down there and clear that and clear all this. And then once I'm done with that, then I flatten it out. And then, that's all I'm going to do today, basically, until I can get the chainsaw and cut that out of the way. And then I can start building it. And I will... Get, make another video when I get this tree cut out of the way. So, that's basically that. Um, yeah, thank you. Like and subscribe. Bye.